hey let me show you how we can connect your samsung galaxy feed 3 with any android smartphone so first of all just be sure that you turn on your device by using this power button and now when you are with the screen we've got information that we have to go into the galaxy wearable application so grab your phone and simply navigate into the google play store then you have to click on this icon on the search and input this info this phrase the galaxy wearable not this one actually and this is it the old name samsung gear so let's install it i'm gonna also quickly change the language into the english because for some reason i'm with the polish there we go so now we've got this application on our phone and we have to simply open it now we have to click continue accept all of this permission that are popping on the screen we have to allow to get access to the bluetooth so let's turn it on and now the application is actually scanning for the nerby devices so as you can see we can actually find galaxy feed free so we have to select it now we have to check the number on our band, but there's like nothing popping on the band, so we have to wait for it. There we go. So this is the same number, number so we have to click pair. Now we have to check our phone to complete the setup. So just keep holding the phone. Uh, we have to install the additional Galaxy Fit free plugin. So let's do this. Okay, we are automatically redirected into the Play Store. So all you have to do is just to click on this icon. And now just wait for the downloading process. There we go. Uh, I guess we now have to go back to the application. Okay, it looks like, like we have to download this one. Okay, maybe I'm not sure, let's close it. Let's go to the Galaxy Wear. Let's click continue. Let's select our device one more time. Let's click pair. Okay, we have to actually install this one, the Samsung accessory service. So if you have this screen, just click install. Now when it is finished, we have to just go back. Okay, something is loading and from this we have to actually sign in with the Samsung account or the Google account so now if you don't have account you have to cr uh, click here and create basically go step by step so accept all of this stuff tap I agree and now input all of your date right here and click next and follow on screen instructions but in my case I'm going to actually use the Google account that I'm using on the smartphone so we have to click sign in with the Google and now from this just select the account that will pops on the screen so in my case i'm gonna use this one there we go and now click next scroll down click to grant the access and now just wait for the loading screen now we can accept everything maybe i'm gonna get rid of the news and the special offers maybe the customization services and improve personal personalized advertising so click agree right now and click continue okay now we have to click on this watch one more time we have to click continue again um, we have to accept the Samsung end user license I'm gonna get rid of the automatic updates and I can enable updates for the Galaxy wearable application. So now I have to click continue, accept another permissions. From this, we have to go into the settings and grant permission to the location for the Samsung Health app. So let's do this. Go to the permission, grant location and tap for allow all the time. Now go back from this one. Click continue one more time, accept all of these permissions. Okay, it's actually really, really complicated to pair this um, watch 
bundled with the smartphone really. I was pairing like Redmi Watch 4, Redmi Watch 3 Active, Band 8 Pro, and it was definitely much quicker. It's around five minutes of this video. That's crazy. And we are still cl clicking some nonsense. Okay, uh, there we can actually enable the automatic backup, but I'm gonna skip this one. We can set prefer prefer preferred wrist, so we can get the left or the right one, and the button position the, on the right or the left side. Then click next, uh, track our daily stuff, yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, and now we have to wait until it hits the 100%, so we'll be probably connected. Yeah, there we go. Accept another permissions. There we go, go back from this one. And that's it. Okay, that was like really, ex <laughs> that was really, really hard to pair this and with the phone. Now, uh, I mean like a lot of different apps that we have to install, click on those, all of these permissions. That's actually not, not good Samsung. You should uh, definitely optimize this pairing process. It's, it's not, it's like not easy. So that's all right now, please subscribe to my channel.